Welcome to Jewel Tech, and I have a Chrome box. Not a Chrome book, a Chrome box. And today, we're going to be installing SteamOS on it. Now, I could just install Arch and, you know, go pick picture mode. But for the sake of making this interesting, we're going to be going with the hollow ISO method. I believe I bought this for $75 on eBay. You know, busted up microphone, no bottom mount. As you can see, there's a bit of damage right here. And it did came with a charger. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's one of these Chromebox chargers, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and this isn't just any ordinary Chromebox. It's a Acer CX i2 with Mr. Chromebox's custom firmware core boot, right? So basically what that means is that you could install any 64-bit UEFI operating system. So in other words, you could install Windows 11 on this and it'll still run like butter, you know? Now, let me list the specs for you. It's a dual core quad thread 2.0, you know, gigahertz Intel Core i3, huh? as you can see right here. Uh, 5005U, Intel HD graphics 5500. Keep in mind, this is a Chrome box. There is no dedicated graphics for this thing. Uh, it has eight gigabytes of DDR3 L RAM. So that's sold them laptop RAM, right? And 16 gigabytes of storage. Now, it is a Chromebox, so it's not like it came with much storage to begin with. So, I already did the liberty of installing 128 gigabytes of custom SSD storage. So, you know, we don't have to worry about that for now. And don't even mention the security screw you have to remove before doing all of this. So, in conclusion, we have a small PC. Now, of course, I never actually installed SteamOS on this thing. So, this is going to be pretty interesting because I've installed various operating systems on this, you know, Ubuntu, Fedora, everything, right? But it's actually gonna be the first time I'm gonna be doing Hollow ISO, which is what SteamOS is, right? Now, unfortunately, I don't have a capture card at the moment, so we're gonna have to capture this on screen, or if I'm, if I could configure it to run OBS in the background of it, we could see the performance of this running right? SteamOS, so should be inter interesting. So we're just gonna cut right into it and I'll show you the installation process so hopefully I can record that and so for some odd reason hello ISO didn't work and I couldn't figure out the problem in time for this video so for now I'll use another variant called Bazita I don't want to get this all wrong my god I fell for the meme Bazite It's based on Fedora and it's immutable, so I guess that's good enough for this Chromebox. And we're just gonna skip the mock because I feel like it. Now we just wait for init RAM FS to finish loading. All right, I have OBS running in the background. Now, unfortunately, I'm not recording in real time, so I'll just commentate over the footage for now. So, currently, we have Gary's mod running on Proton 8.0 slash 5, not experimental since, you know, it's experimental, right? We actually, we're actually surprisingly staying at 40 FPS, even with o uh, OBS running in the background. But then again, it's a pretty low end for us, you know? Now we're just gonna spawn a couple of combines and see the performance. And maybe a couple of helicopters while we're at it. The Tiger! Now, I'm not really much of a TF2 player, but as you can see, the performance, it's, it's pretty bad, but not impossible to play. And just for the sake of it, here's a server with 64 players running on this toaster. <laughs> 
Surprisingly, the Chromebox never got that hot. Only just enough to get slightly warm, and this thing is way more bitter and fan noise than most modern gaming laptops. And it's a Chromebox. So yeah, I guess it's pretty decent, but honestly, I would recommend you make this into a small multimedia player for your TV or something. But anyway, that's it for this episode of Jewel Tech. See you next time.